Do you have fun when you do that? I have a little bit of fun. I can tell. Hi, Kendall. Hello, Max. Hello, everyone. Welcome to another episode of Skeptics Corner. So, we got a hot new topic today. All the kids are talking about it. Yep. That Loch Ness creature. Mm. Slurping around, eating kids. <laughs> Did you, was, that your, was that like a cow getting ate by the Loch Ness creature? I, I don't know. I was just making a noise, Like dude. Like there's a cow drinking out the lake, and then... And then the thing comes up and like, <laughs> drags it under. <laughs> <laughs> like you just, you hear like the muffled like bell, cowbell under the water. <laughs> <laughs> and then silence. <laughs> <laughs> uh, bubbles. You just hear some bubbles. Yeah. <laughs> All right. So, uh, yeah, th- there's this Apple Maps thing that's been floating around for a few days now. Uh, yeah. I guess this image was originally taken uh, a couple years back by a satellite, and then Apple used it in their Apple Maps app, which is utter crap. Oh, hey, that rhymes! snap! Ah! Um, okay. <laughs> so they did, they did that, and people kind of freaked out about it then, but then everybody just like, yeah, whatever. Now all of a sudden it's a reoccurring... Hot topic for reasons I do not understand or care to understand. So anyway, we're here to shut that thing down. Hmm. Yeah. Get it, Paul. Get it. Okay, so here's what happened. Okay. Yeah. <clears throat> so it depicts some sort of shape in the water. Yes. And, and they're like, oh my God, that's eating cows. And upon further scrutiny, the days and days of research that we've put into this, yeah. We we've realized that there's a yacht that likes that likes that area of the lake. What's the name of the yacht? Does it even matter? Uh, frick if I know, man. It's like that Queen's something stupid and stacken. Queen's Queen. Oh, the the Jacobite Queen. <laughs> well, it's close enough. That's exactly what I said. <laughs> or is kind it of Jacobite? I don't know. Who cares? It's Jacobite? Scotland. Jacob Jacobite. Jac Jacobite. Jacobite. No, 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 no. You're saying it wrong because it's Scotland and they don't they don't pronounce it like French. Jacobite. Queen. <laughs> Close N- enough, Max. Nursery. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Well, anyway, this thing likes that. I think that's it. Anyway, um, this this yacht likes that area of the lake, and it doesn't go very fast when it trolls around no all right so there's a few things that happen in the phenomenon uh yes yeah you explain it i'll listen uh uh, sure so um first thing you need to know is unlike google who just has infinite amount of resources apple doesn't actually have their own imaging satellites. These images came from a digital globe. Um, and Dang, yeah. <laughs> thanks, thanks, Digiglobe. <laughs> and I think they were taken by Digiglobe's uh, QuickBird satellite. <laughs> That's really the name of their satellite. Okay, don't laugh. It's we're launching. Hey, we're launching a QuickBird. Go and get us Nessie. <laughs> Go and get that gator. No, <laughs> no I'm, sure they're, I'm sure they're a fine business. I Well, yeah, apparently not, because they, they were able to cock this up and make everyone think they found Nessie. Is it their fault, though? I mean, like, th- this probably just happened. It, it's it's bandwagon. That's all it is. People okay. see something, they freaking, you know, flip out and start rubbing their junk on it, and other people are like, oh, that must feel good, and they try it, and then they start doing it. All right, so what's the, what's the phenomenon that happens when a boat moves and a satellite moves at the same time? Okay, well, first of all, the satellite is, like, going around the Earth a bajillion mile. I don't even know how fast, but it's faster than I want to calculate. At least warp. <laughs> <laughs> so you got that. You got a fast-moving satellite that's taking pictures that are not in real time. And then, just like when you take a panoramic picture with your phone, it has to... Well, the satellite doesn't, but the the pictures the satellite takes have to be... Um, stitched and spliced together 
to create a, re- a, a large, seamless photograph, okay? <clears throat> yes. And as, we, as we've all done on Google Earth, we play around with Google Earth, we find areas, you know, for fun where the, the images don't really line up correctly and it's, it's fun to poke at. But that's exactly what happened. Um, this boat happened to be in the right place at the, the right time, I guess, and, uh, you know, the images got, uh, uh, you know, the, the boat got kind of washed out and the image was overlaid with another image of the lake on top of it to, to fit the seam, and it, it looks like there's a phantom boat there, basically, because of that effect. The way I kind of understand it is it's like, it's like a stop animation where you miss a frame and then you just put it over it. Mm-hmm. Right. Yeah. Another fun fact is um, the reason this doesn't this normally mm-hmm. doesn't show up on Google's maps, but it does on Apple's, is because they're using uh, slightly different images that are stitched together uh, of the lock, basically, and mm-hmm. uh, their system isn't as sophisticated as a uh, um, Google's. Okay. Um, so, fun fact: the boat is uh, twenty meters long. Because, like we said, we we identify the boat. Okay, it has a name. It's a yacht. It's some dude's yacht. The Jacob Queen. Right. Course, it's course. 20 meters long, which in American, I have no idea what that is. What's 20, 20 times 360 feet? Oh, yeah, yeah, you're right. Yeah. Is it really that easy to convert from the metric to the imperial? I think it's roughly, uh, a meter is roughly three feet. So give or take 60 feet, I think. I have to look that up, but I think I'm uh, right on it. Because what, I, I know Yard, hang on, I'm looked that up, I think I'm right, hang on, keep going. Okay, so anyway, well, he's doing that. Um, so, the there is no really sea creature that could live there that could be 20 feet long. There's no 20 foot catfish, or uh, 20 meter catfish, rather. That's just ridiculous. And it can't be a whale shark, because the Loch Ness is a freshwater environment. Yeah, a lot of people seem to forget that. Mm-hmm. Um and obviously, whale sharks live in the ocean, which is salt water. Hey. <coughs> By the way, a meter, 3.3 feet. Hey, look, he called it, man. Good yeah, job. Yeah. And, you know, isn't it kind of suspicious that this thing that looks like a boat wake is in a lake where there's lots of boats? Huh. What? Fancy that. <laughs> Get out of here. <laughs> <laughs> so, yeah, this... uh. This is no Loch Ness monster. It's a boat, guys. Yeah, and there's also I noticed this too. Is that the boat is the same color of the wake it's creating? So even if you don't believe the uh, the phantom boat theory, which is basically proven at this point, mm-hmm. the how old this photograph is and the fact that it's inferior equipment to what else is out there, the boat might very well be there. It's just being washed out by everything around it because it's the same color as the water. And um. If you've actually been looking at this, not just you know having us talk in the background of whatever you're doing, you can see images that I've, uh, with permission of course, used in the video to um, demonstrate not only what a boat wake looks like, but also enhanced versions of this image to show that this is indeed just a washed out image of a boat. Boom. <clears throat> yep. Wait, wait, wait. And another thing, wasn't the boat seen? Yes, I was about to, to get to that point. Do tell. So... You know, you know how I always preach about people, you know, jump on the bandwagon. They get one little thing that sounds like it's something, and then they just run freaking wild with it. Mm-hmm. Well, here's another great example of that. Because a slightly more intrepid um, explorer of truth would have noticed that um, the same boat can be seen in the northern part of the lock, and it was heading in the same direction of, you know... Where this phantom object object has appe- uh, has appeared, I can't talk right now. But yeah, um, there's a there's a slightly earlier sandline image showing the boat heading south from the very north end of the Loch Ness. I mean, so there you go. Okay. I mean, I I can't, I I, I can't really support the idea of a Loch Ness monster. So this is, and so okay, take that big city monster likers. You and your fancy flying machines. Your fancy it's the devil's work. With your fancy non-science thinking. Yeah. <laughs> so here's another thing that I have a quarrel with. So basically, fo- that photograph is a boat. You're seeing a boat wake. Um, yeah. 
if it were a giant fish or a Loch Ness monster, or something but see, like this that. is something that's not that's not new to the channel either. We've always kind of like strayed away from Nessie because we always it's pre- so lame. Yes, we always preach the point that one, it's lame, and two, it's physically impossible. Because what the flip would it eat? Where where would it eat? Where where are all of his friends that he has to bang to stay alive for exactly? So long? Yeah. He's All not right. just some sort of, like, magical creature that just lives through the eons in solitude, okay? Unless he is. Well. <laughs> <laughs> he might Dang. be a djinn. The djinn. <laughs> He's the djinn. <laughs> he goes on vacation to the sewers of North London. <laughs> right. And terrorizes people. <clears throat> but Pops no. open uh, toilet yeah. seats and stuff. No. Oh. <laughs> touches that's your a, leg. Oh. <laughs> that's unfortunate, man. Number one like, fear, realize. Anyway. <laughs> No, seriously, you're sitting on the pot. All of a sudden, a police store head starts pushing you up on uh, out of the the toilet. You know, like, you do you do hear the horror stories of like somebody washes an octopus down into there or something, and it somehow manages to get back up, or like an anaconda or whatever. Oh, oh Just, good lord! <laughs> <laughs> what if it tried to bite your dingleberries like for a tasty snack? <laughs> yeah. Or way out? Oh jeez! Oh, that's a that's a dangerous unit. <laughs> Anyway, yes, y- yeah, guys. There, if if it is a plesiosaur or a giant fish, for one, a plesiosaur would have had to survive a long time without being seen. Which is, come on now, that's that's just so silly. That is. So and silly. if it's a giant fish, it's gonna be eating cows and people and things, and people are gonna notice it. And that ain't happened. Yep. All right, the ecosystem uh, it, takes such a hit. I mean, from just one, a whole population that that would have to sustain these things. It'd be you would see. You would notice it. And that's the thing. It's not like people aren't looking. There's so many stories of people like just going across the whole lock with a fleet of ships, sonar, you mm-hmm. know, mapping it and stuff, and they found nothing. Yeah. And I know the Loch Ness is big. I get it. But you would see a monster that big and his population. Yeah. 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 Or, or something. Yeah, there'd be repercussions from something. Mm-hmm. So, no, you know what? You know how we could definitive, definitively prove that there's nothing there. I killed it. No, send James Cameron. Send, J- <laughs> send J- He'll get it. He'll. Yeah, he is like the wizard of of both space and undersea exploration. Send, so send Jam Cam. Yeah, send the Jam Cam. I, I'm I I back it. I'm behind that. He'll go down there in the submarine. <laughs> and he'll prove that if it is there, he's going to kill it. And if it's not there, well, then he's still going to make an IMAX movie out of it. So. Oh. <laughs> Either way, we're getting the movie. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> okay. So James Cameron, 2014, Loch Ness. Make it happen, YouTube. Oh, my God. People of the internet. Amazing. <sighs> okay. Because if anybody has the time, expertise, and money to do that, it would be him, really. I mean, think about it. Yeah. Uh, yeah, if he can go down the Mariana Trench, the bottom of it, he can go look for a freaking Loch Ness monster. True, true. Yeah. But as for this picture, it is not a monster. It is just a boat and some crappy imagery. That's all it is. If you don't believe us, look it up yourself. Yeah, I got links in the description and I don't even, whatever. Or what, you can waste your time however you want, guys. So, this has been... A little bit of skeptics going on. <laughs>